Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. Our color analyst, <laughs> as one of our listeners so politely mentioned when you were gone. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's like you Tony are. Romo, right? <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and Troy Aikman. Yeah, yeah. I don't know which one's the color analyst of all those. I guess that's true. No, that's what it is. Yeah, he's the one that does not the, that's so factual. Uh huh. Not the play by play guy, he's the, the colorful guy. <laughs> that is true. And um, we are taking your calls live at 737 1200 or 1 800 383 WOAI. We've been doing this thing over 17 years and we appreciate you listening. I wonder if some of you've listened to us for the entire 17 years. I bet there's some who have. It'll be 18 in August. Maybe. Yeah. And we're also on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. And that's why I had to have you come on three years ago. Yeah. They were tired of listening to me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was because we started videoing. Well, that's why we did it, but that's why we needed you to do it, is uh, why they needed you. <laughs> and so today we're going to talk about loft room additions. What is a loft room addition? Well. I told you already, didn't I? Yeah. Do you want me to say the sure, real thing or what I sure. thought it was? Okay, or, you can do either one. Well, I don't know. Building a loft means that you can see out, so it's not a totally closed-in room. So Yeah, that is that is a common thing when you think of the word loft. But I can't think of another way to describe it. And they are commonly described as lofted room additions. In other words, and, and maybe we should work, use the term a loft, which means up above. Oh, okay. Something is up above a loft. Uh -huh. And uh, and so that means converting areas that are really, really high ceilings that have like 20-foot ceilings. And a lot of homes have 20-foot ceilings in their living rooms and some in their garages. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of the, you know why those rooms are so tall like in garages sometimes? No. Well, There's no attic? Well, the reason is, is because you want to look on the front of the home. You want to be able to... You want to come out from your living area into the garage. Mm -hmm. And because the house is built on a hill, the living area is is had to be had to be at a certain level to be on top of the hill. Because mm -hmm. that's where the majority of the home will be. Mm -hmm. But but the part they put on the garage is so much lower. Yep. And if you were to walk out on a little building, you'd hit your head on the roof. So they have to raise that ceiling way above to the level of the existing home where they're going to build the home. And that means the garage is so much lower that they have stairs coming into their home. Yeah. And so that is a situation where and you get a really tall ceiling. And that is all over San Antonio. It Those, really is. You know, we've seen it in Stone Oak and Alamo Ranch where they have to go up 10 different stairs to get to their house. So or 20. Those, yeah, so those will typically have that scenario. Right? right, and a lot of people think, well, why did the builder build this garage so tall? Mm -hmm. so, you wouldn't, so you could actually get into it from the main living area. And and so then the next question is, is oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, why didn't they build me another room up here? There's <laughs> room for another room up here. I would love another room. Yeah, and so they're right. Um, so a lot of people are right about the fact that you can put another room up there. But, but you know what they're wrong on? How much it costs? Yeah. <laughs> they think it should be really, really cheap, huh? Because yeah, like all 10, the walls 000, are there. Give me a room for $10,000 or $8,000. Yeah. And the first time I looked at one, I probably thought it was like eight or 10000 also. But there's a lot that goes into it. To support the floor. Yeah. It's got to go completely over all your cars and there's mm -hmm. no walls in between. And that adds some cost. But the good news is it's not as expensive as another type of room addition. Well, that's good. It's lower price. And you get a big size room. Yeah, you do. It's usually a very large space and very, very um, multifunctional. You mm -hmm. can just do just about anything up there. And sometimes some of them are not so tall. They're just kind of like in between. Like you can get a seven-foot room up there, a room with seven-foot high ceilings. Which is a little short. Yeah, it is. But you know what you could use that for is for storage. That's true. And so people will, and, and of course, how far you go into converting these rooms has a lot to do with how, you know, what kind of ceiling will you have and so forth. But it also affects the cost. 
So if it's a storage room, that means it doesn't have to be um, AC temperature controlled. In, yeah, if that's what you want. Now, mm -hmm. it can still be temperature controlled, but it just depends on what you need it for. Mm -hmm. And so, but, but you know, if, even if it was temperature controlled and you had a duct running into it, um, it might not be that expensive to add that AC duct, but it still could be a very low cost room because you're not getting into all the amenities of a full usable living area. Yeah. So that is, that is one, of the, one of the things that you can think about. We're gonna talk about the advantages, uh, the uses, and the specifics of building a room above basically another room. And once again, the, the rooms that typically we build over that we've done, there's probably a few others, but most of the time it's the living rooms, the great rooms that have these high ceilings. Mm -hmm. And then it is the garages that have these high ceilings. And, it's, and a lot of times it's because of the way the house shifts on the hill. You might drive in at a really nice level garage. The garage is the normal height, but, but on the back side of the house, it starts getting real steep. The ground starts dropping. So your, mm -hmm. so your great room has a really tall ceiling because they drop the floor down to be able to walk outdoors. Mm -hmm. And the, the room just, the height of the ceilings and the roofs just continue straight out. So now you've got this dropped room with a very, very tall ceiling. It's beautiful, but you know, some people think it's a waste of space. That's right. And, and there's other reasons why people uh, people d decide that I want to change that. One of them has to do with AC costs. Um, you get better, you know, some people feel that they're heating that room up there in the winter, and uh, what happens <laughs> to heat? It all rises. Yep. And it's so cold down here. Yeah, and they can't seem to control the room temperature. So they're like, I don't, I don't want that room anymore. It's always hard to, to heat yeah. or cool. So they put another room up there, and guess what? They've got ducts in the lower room and ducts in the upper room that can control the temperature much better. So that's, that's another advantage that, and some of the reasons why people do it. And so, um, you know, one of, again, reasons are I need more space. I don't like the way the temperature works. Maybe it's, uh, it's just too hard to clean because it's too tall. Oh yeah, that's why I can't you change there. a light bulb. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You need a 20-foot ladder to change yeah, light bulb. I, I can't even feel my ceiling fan. It's, yeah. It, you know, and uh, another thing is you do have a ceiling fan. It might be throwing shadows because the lights are above it. And I've actually yeah. seen that, that it creates, it makes people dizzy almost <laughs> because they, oh, you know, the goodness. lights are so high. I mean, there's some real beautiful things in a real tall ceiling. Yeah. And it can make a dramatic impact on a home. But there are other ways to create that, create that dramatic impact as well through ceilings. They don't have to be boring just to put a floor between them. You can make these things very, very exciting. Oh, definitely. So we'll go ahead and talk about our sponsor who's been oh, doing yeah. a good job for us. Maybe if you don't want to get up on a 20 foot ladder to clean your ceilings or your ceiling fans, you should call the maids at 210-822-2526. They're the official cleaning service of our company, KM Builders. We use them on all of our projects and our homes. So you can call them at 210-822-2526 and use code KM Builders for $25 off your first clean. Or look them up at maids.com slash 211. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. 2021 is the perfect time to add a healthy new habit to your daily wellness routine. Good nasal hygiene. We all know there's bad stuff in the air, allergens, bacteria, viruses, and that some of it's very dangerous. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, you can clean your nose with Navage. Your nose is the body's air filter, and with Navage, you help your body defend itself by flushing out the crud and germs. I'm Martin Hoke, and I invented Navage, the world's only nose cleaner with powered suction. Navage is easy to use, affordable, and it has over 40,000 online reviews, averaging 4.7 stars. Join millions of Navaj users to relieve congestion and allergies, breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier without drugs. At Navaj.com, CVS, Walgreens, Bed Bath, Target, and Rite Aid. You wash your hands and brush your teeth every day. Let 2021 be the year you start cleaning your nose with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. Navaj. Is 
erectile dysfunction holding you back from the new year, new you mantra? Turn to Peak Performance for Men. Peak Performance offers proven treatment for erectile dysfunction that fosters results and makes a difference for you and your lifestyle. No pain, no medication, no pills, no pumps, no surgery. Peak Performance for Men utilizes focused linear compression therapy to treat your ED and bring you What do you think of uses for so a second year, suite? You can really feel I mean, like a lot of it, Andy. <laughs> you showed him six times last yep. the last two shows. It said five on us, and I thought it was five. Um, I'm enjoying that song. <laughs> Am I on? I can't hear myself. <laughs> right here. Oh. There you go. Oh, That's yeah. That's the part I like. <laughs> so, we're back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. And I want to mention our sponsor that has to do with your home. If you love your home and you 
don't get to see it too well at night called elite lighting designs and you'll be able to see your home like i can at night in a whole new light at 573-0594 it makes your home beautiful and safer at night and you'll get lots of compliments on how beautiful your home is when you invite your guests uh, we've already gotten that and it's safe pathway lighting as well coming from up above rather than down there at your eyes oh yeah it's really nice it's just beautiful, beautiful. up lighting on the home accent lighting at elitelightingdesigns.com or 573-0594 so do you have a client testimonial yes this one is not really a client testimonial but it's from a radio listener and uh David, our project manager, had told me this on Friday. He said um, that he had gone to Home Depot and he was getting checked out at the cash register and he was wearing his KM hat. And they said, oh, do you work for KM Builders? And he was like, oh yeah, I do. And you know, he's always so chipper. And they said, oh, awesome. I listen to the radio show all the time. I just really love listening to them. And so he recognized our logo from David's hat and I just wanted to give them a shout out. So if you're listening to us today, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> yeah. And thank all of you for listening. We, we just have a lot of fun meeting y'all wherever I go see you and Morgan gets to see you. Yes. And she goes on the midpoint visit and the conclusion. I go at the beginning and give you an overview. Mm -hmm. But um, you can call us at 680-5626 or look us up at kmbuilders.com. Today we're talking about loft additions. That is where you convert tall living rooms or tall garages into two rooms. You, you, you still have your room down below and then you build another room above because the ceilings are so tall. Now, a lot of people you know, love that look, but they don't like it for practicality. As we said, cleaning, um, heating and cooling, maybe... Uh, what about acoustics? Acoustic, you know what, thank you. That is another <laughs> another one that I have been told and I forgot about that. One of my clients that wanted to convert that said the acoustics were horrible. Yeah. And he had tried everything to get that, that calmed down. So yeah, uh, cleaning, cooling, acoustics. They're, they're just, just lack of function. Yeah, it is impractical in some cases. And some people just need the space. Mm -hmm. And so, so we, we have converted rooms like that in beautiful homes. And those, those room additions that we're building, those lofts, are, are also quite beautiful and attractive. And you'd be amazed that both rooms look really cool. Oh, yeah. And, and I mean, I've never had anybody say that they thought it looked better the way before. They think it looks better the way we did it. Of course, you can do beautiful things to these to these loft additions. You can, if you're in a living room, you're going to want a beautiful ceiling. You want beautiful lighting, and, and you know, like we said, even even the lighting is poor whenever you're you're getting sometimes from lighting from 20 feet up in the air, or 22 feet up in the air. It just doesn't do it the way that you might like it. So lighting is another reason that people change it. So. So we're, we're again, it's not only in the in the living rooms we do this. We do it in tall garages. So let's talk about some of the uses that people convert these rooms into. You had one that you thought you would do. You were going to convert a living room loft and make it a, a two separate rooms. What would mm -hmm. you use that upper room for? Well, I thought of it would be cool for a game room. Mm -hmm. And some of these, you could leave part of the walls open for a real true loft experience if it was above a living room, you know? Yep. You do not have to do the entire room. Mm -hmm. If you'd like that connection to be able to see it, at least through maybe the stairs mm -hmm. or, you know, a portion of the room, you can do partial conversions. Yep. Nice. And even that, by the way, does help with acoustics. Oh, yes. Depending on the way you, the way you design it, you can actually help with the acoustics by putting a partial room addition in that. And it can look really, really cool. Mm -hmm. It can look like a balcony. It can be a little music area. It can be so much better. But again, that can you can affect the acoustics. You can clean better from that balcony area. Mm -hmm. Your heating and cooling changes and your lighting is all different now. Mm -hmm. And so, so yeah, a game room, also a theater room. Oh, yeah. And of course, you'll close that off completely and have your own door system up there. And, mm -hmm. um, that could be really cozy. Yeah. You know, one of the reasons I've also said is um, is sometimes these living rooms have a direct connection to another room upstairs that is lofted. 
and they're getting too much of that noise in their living room. Mm -hmm. So this can block off that noise and actually give you a completely separate room then that you're not feeling like you're always connected to that big stairway or the noise coming down that stairway. Mm -hmm. It creates a barrier. So that is, a, that is another one. And then, you know, some people just need a space for the kids to go up there and play. And it's kind of out of the way. And it's that's like a, a separate living room? Yeah, it's a kid's living room mm -hmm. or a kid's playroom even. Yeah. That's been another reason we've seen these done. Uh, of course, people also do them for offices, for, you know, they want a master suite up there. Some people want that to be a new bedroom and maybe even a restroom and a closet and a kind of beautiful view out of that new master suite. Mm -hmm. So you can do master suites. We did, we're doing a show on... Uh, master suites coming up, dual master suites coming up with mm -hmm. that in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And that is a very popular project to have another master suite in your home. And you can convert that. You already have the space. Yeah. And most of these rooms we're talking about in garages and in living rooms are large enough to be a master suite. A very nice size master suite with even living and sitting areas. Mm -hmm. And the cheaper than having to build out that's exactly right. And by the way, um, we have a we have a client coming up that has already told me they're going to do it. That is wanting it in the garage, and it's going to be a second master suite. Oh, cool! And then we've got another one coming up. They've already told me they're going to do it, and it's going to be a conversion to like a theater room. And that one's in the living room. One's in the garage. One's in the living room. So we'll get to get pictures of both. Oh yeah, options. and these and these houses are not cheap houses. They are nice houses. And, oh. and they want they want to add make more practical use of it. Mm -hmm. So it is a it's just a multi-purpose. Now on the simpler version, we've done some before that where people made them workout rooms oh, yeah. and gyms. Mm -hmm. And and yes, you can handle all that weight. <laughs> oh, you can yeah. handle furniture. You know what weighs more than than uh, workout equipment? People. People, yeah, <laughs> and people move, so it makes yeah. it even heavier. And we only have two feet carrying our load, so that's All really right. Very small. Very concentrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, a person with weights on their shoulder is even heavier, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so you do have to build these right, but you can have a workout room, a gym. You could even have a little workshop area up there. Or, you know, if you're thinking about, man, we need to build an office, have you thought about that space in your tall ceiling in your garage? You could make that an office. That's and by the way, office. we can put a, a dormer on there with a beautiful window. You can even have a walkout balcony on it. There's so oh, yeah, many things you pretty. can do. Uh, but you can have a workout gym, storage, and office. So okay. all of those. Theater room, game room, kids room, master suite. So these are lofted rooms, as you said, have some real advantages. We're going to talk about some more of the advantages and then some of the specifications that you need to be aware of so that not just anybody builds this for you. <laughs> But I want to mention someone who can help you like they've helped me on my car. Every once in a while we get a ding on it and we want it to look like it came from the factory and don't want to have that value go down. So it takes an expert to match these metallic paint jobs that are out there now. But Frank does it for some of the high-end automotive companies, but he'll do it for you personally. And guess what? If you have it done at the automotive place, they're going to charge you more than he will. So go to him direct at 210-927-3410. That's 927-3410, Frank's Paint and Body Shop, 927-3410, and we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show.
We got three people on live on Facebook right now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Let us know if you have any questions, and we can answer them on the show. Can we talk about actually the construction of it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you got some good questions. Yeah, Think of them. Of. Think of them. My first one when I was about 17, 18. Garage loft edition? No, loft it was a limited loft edition. Whoa. I was about 18 years old. Working for someone else? Doing it? No, I did it on the side. I might have been 19, I don't know, 18, 19, I would say. About 18. You didn't 19. fall down? Mm -mm, it was the Morris. Oh. Stella Moore and Tony Moore. Wow. And was that hard? Should charge more. It was hard for me when I was young. Yeah, but should have charged never more. Made any real money. Oh, I yeah. gave people such good deals. <laughs> and, you know, you learn every time. So that's one of the reasons I was probably able to convert my business to remodeling was because I had already learned the hard way a lot of things. Yeah. And I think one of the main reasons that I was able to do things that other people weren't was because of my strong background in structural framing. Yeah. I wasn't afraid of anything. Yeah, because that would just be, that would intimidate even experienced remodelers. I think so, you know, and it, and it never it never dawned on me that people <laughs> would be intimidated by that stuff. Oh, that's such a Keith Maley statement. I am taking for granted that people know how to build this stuff, but they don't. So finally I started talking in recognition of that fact. Yeah. And it's one of the reasons I said, well, we need to get a radio show out there or something because I realized that not everybody's telling people the right thing. Mm -hmm. Don't assume that everybody knows that this is hard or, or that everybody knows how to do it. Andy asked if we can call him after the show. He has a couple of questions. He thinks he knows the answer, but he needs to be verified. Do you just want to call him when you drive home?
Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. We're glad you joined us this Saturday, and we hope you are enjoying our subject about loft additions. I know there's a lot of people listening who do not know that they can, or how they could convert their very tall garage into mm -hmm. another room. Or Without it falling down. <laughs> and, and what? Without it falling down. That's what worries me. Yeah, that's me. pretty important. That's <laughs> what worries you. That probably is what worries a lot of other people. And maybe, you know, now that you mentioned it, they're even thinking it's just not possible. Yeah. Because I'd be scared. Mm -hmm. Well, don't let fear stop you. We can show you a way that, that would be completely remove the fear from you. And don't let it don't let that happen to you. So you can call us at 737-1200 if you would like to talk about anything on our show. 737-1200 is that live number. Mm -hmm. And we want to talk about our sponsor, BioGreen, before we get into this fun subject of loft additions. But fun subject for me is my lawn. <laughs> and uh, BioGreen has made it a lot more fun for me and even Buddy. I showed you a picture of Buddy laying out in the grass. Yes, he's so cute sunning himself. Yeah, getting his vitamin D. And so whether you have pets or you just like to see a beautiful lawn, our lawn actually looks pretty even even in the winter. I was going to say, it's green right now. It's green, yeah. And it's probably because it's so healthy. Mm -hmm. Because of the treatment we've gotten from Joe Caccino at BioGreenSA. Dot com. Call them at 421-9522, 421-9522, or wildgreensa.com. What's trending, Morgan? Well, right now, I'm seeing a lot of people, they definitely are in their homes a lot, um, especially in the northern areas because it's so cold and snowy. And so they're looking to have everything just zen in their house and not stressful. And this color is going on kitchen cabinets, it's going on walls or trims, and I like to call it grayish. And it's like a gray beige that is just really taking over. It's the better than white, I think, because it's not so boring. It has some depth and dimension to the tones and the colors. You can put white countertops, you can put butcher block. There's just a lot of, uh, it's a real neutral, but still having a color. You know, that was popular years ago. Really? Yeah, and I'm glad it's coming back. I, yeah. I, I always liked it. It's really pretty, especially with their gold or brass accents, but mm -hmm. even stark black look great with it, too. Yeah, it really does. And, and it gives, it gives a, um, it'll pull out some black in it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like it's accenting that yep. color. Yeah. <clears throat> well, thank you for that. And this just shows what we try to do for you when you come into our, to our world we, we acquaint you with what's out there. Oh, definitely. And you've got so many choices. You do need professional help and guidance. If you're doing thinking about converting that space, then you definitely need help. Because we're going to talk about some of the things you need to be aware of that people should be doing if they're going to convert your room, your loft, whether that be in a living room, a tall living room, or a tall garage. One of the things that I that first comes to mind is you need to realize that these are very large areas. Mm -hmm. with no support underneath. Mm -hmm. um, people don't want don't want columns in their garage where they can hit them with their cars or their co car doors would hit them. So they don't want this to be interfered with. This open space in your garage needs to stay open. Yeah. So when you go and build a room above, you're having to cover all that weight that you're adding because the weight of a ceiling, which is way above there, is so much less than the weight of a room that's going to have objects and people in it. If you put weights in a, uh, like a weight machine from a gym, that's even more weight. But you're gonna build this room to cover all of that, but that is a very large span. And you know what that means? That's steel a large, plates? Well, steel or large beams. Either yep. way, it's whether they're wooden engineered beams or whether they're big eye joists that, that run to carry the weight, mm -hmm. they're going to be large and and they're going to have to, to carry lots of weight, so you're gonna have to have them large and the guess what else is gonna be required? It's gonna require engineering. All of these types of rooms do require engineering. Now don't let that bother you. In fact, that's a really good thing because then you can rest assured that an engineer has calculated all the loads to be placed on it and they will cover it. In fact, they will much more than cover that, that weight that you're ever intended. It's going to be designed to overkill so that there's no chance of it ever failing or sagging or even 
you know, getting a little sag in there that you would would be unattractive. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have that. And so we, the engineering doesn't cost much. It's going to cost us three to five hundred dollars for for you to get that engineered, which we will not do without an engineer. And you would, we would be doing that wherever we did a room addition, right? Yeah. Well, not all room additions require engineering, but a lot of them do. But yeah. this one is one that definitely does require it because of the type of lumber you're using. Mm. This is what this is. There's a two types of lumber, and one is engineered lumber, and one is nominal. Nominal means that it's already made in the, you know, it comes out of a tree already the size that they want it. They, they cut it down to that size, and it is all in the code books. Hmm. All of the code books are built for anything from a 2 by something to a 2 by 12 mm -hmm. And then there's certain beams that are in the code books. But once you get into these spans, for these types of rooms, that lumber will not be sufficient. So they go into what are called engineered lumber. Now, in a few cases, you go beyond that. You go with steel, like you said. And everybody knows steel has to be an engineer. Yeah. Has to be engineered. And so these are design specifications that determine, are determined by what type of dimensions we're, we're spanning and then also what, what's being put above it. Mm -hmm. But this is not like the ceilings that you're, that you're seeing above. They are much, have to be built much heavier. So and one of the things, too, that, that has to be done is how it is attached to the walls. The beams are going to sit in walls, but some cases you don't have beams, you have large joists. And in that case, all of the weight is transferred to where you're attaching it to the side walls. So there's a rim joist that is attached, and that has to be bolted into the wall. Mm -hmm. It cannot be just nailed in most cases. Now, there are some exceptions. But in most cases, you are bolting into the studs of those walls so that it will not pull down. And some cases require even more than that, but it is a very, very critical attachment. But once it's done with the oversight of an engineer, then you never have to worry about it again. And so, so what about some other things that, that have to be done that people don't think about? One is, if you're doing it in a garage, your garage doors still have to be in that and be <laughs> attached, and they use a lot of space with those with those tracks. Yeah. So we have to be really ingenious which way we run these joists. So sometimes we can run the tracks between the attachments between these joists, and it can just barely get above the garage door itself. Uh -huh. Now sometimes people, you know, we have to make adjustments to those garage doors. Mm -hmm. And lighting is another thing you have to be aware of. It doesn't matter whether you're in a garage or you're in a living room, you're going to need new lighting in that area. And people don't think about, oh, just put me on floor. <laughs> no, no, you need to have lights now because it's going to be dark in here. <laughs> and this is going to be a box. If it's, if it's air conditioning yep. in, in the other room that you had it in, it's now going to have air conditioning that area that it was coming out of and the new area down below. Mm -hmm. So that's another one. How about um, in a garage, if you're going to make a room, you have to insulate the floor so that it's not cold underneath. Because yeah, the garage is not insulated. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's a cold area of the home. So now you're going to have to insulate that. Also for sound, you're going to have to insulate for sound if it's in a living room and you're going to make that a theater room. You're going to have to insulate for sound. And just remember that you can do cool things to these rooms, like the, even a specialty ceiling design below so you can make it look gorgeous. So those are some of the things that I think of when we're building. And like I told you, I think I built my first one when I was about 18 or 19 years old. I think I don't even think I was out of high school yet when I did that one. So it was probably Crazy. about 17 or 18. Yeah, <laughs> I had been in construction for a while. So if you want a room addition, any kind, you give us a call at 680-5626. If you want some protection on your windows from heat, cold, um, UV protection, or even burglar protection, call Eric at 430-7712. 210-4700. Seventy-seven twelve at expel.com, and we'll be right back to the K and Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Remodeling can get you the home of your dreams, but how you get there could be a nightmare. At K and Builders, we know that successful email. remodeling is built around a yeah. fantastic client experience. While you were it's oh you yeah. Design the experience so you can he works on Saturdays and all the time. Extreme detailed guides, details. He's never not working. Details of your experience. Schedule an in-depth consultation with me at 680 KMCO or at KMBuilders.com. 
Charlie Parker for Car Zeus. What is Car Zeus? It's a car buying service allowing you to go to their website, carzeus.com, submit your vehicle information in a matter of minutes, and get a quote to purchase your vehicle from a local Car Zeus agent. It takes you four to five hours to purchase a vehicle at a traditional car dealership, and in most cases, half that time is spent negotiating on the trade-in. You can think about selling the car outright on your own. That could take you anywhere from a month to a month and a half. Longer if it's not priced according to the market or if a listing isn't eye-catching. It could be stressful. Go to carzeus.com. Simply put, upload your vehicle to their website. Take about three minutes. You'll be connected to one of their agents via text message. They'll then make the most accurate offer and either come to you or you go to them. They do a quick 15-minute inspection. Sign a couple of documents. They'll give you a check. Oh my goodness, how are you driving that? See, you're on my before I'm driving. I was 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 driving
And you know, for people who have vertigo or anything like that, those shadows, it just drives you nuts. And again, so some just have very poor illumination because they're so high up. They can't get, you can't do any function in there except watch TV and you might want to read or something. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and he also mentioned um, that because of the high ceilings, the when anybody walks upstairs, it really echoes and sounds like they're stomping around. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of reasons to consider a loft addition. As we said, they can be in your garage, they can be in your living room, and it's make that space more usable, more practical. We talked about it how how specialized these rooms are. Mm -hmm. They are not for an amateur. And I've been doing them a long time, since I was very young, and we've got many of them under our belt. Now, for, since Morgan came, we take pictures of them now. We yes. Didn't. So I don't have a lot of pictures of the old ones. We did. You mean you didn't take pictures to. when you were 18? No. <laughs> I think the first one was like I hadn't graduated from school yet. We yeah. built one for some good, a good friend of mine built one in a very large wow. living room. And so how you do that is very critical. It's still standing today. And, but let's talk about, uh, we talked about how you can use them for theater rooms, game rooms, master suites, workout gyms, storages, workshops, offices. Don't ignore those areas if you have any needs for rooms like that. Uh, but some advantages I wanted to mention are that they are lower cost than other room additions. These are very, very low cost compared to other room additions. I'm not going to say they're as little or as low priced as people think they are because there's more involved in them because of the engineering and so forth. Yeah. But they are lower than building a room addition, much lower. And you know, another thing I like is you're not having to get an HOA approval on, on uh, having to add on to your home, because it's and invisible. Does that mean that your square footage possibly doesn't change until you get it appraised? That's right. Actually, your taxes Sneaky. don't don't increase. Yeah, that's what it Now, is. if you ever get it appraised, um, you know, you'll get the value in the resale. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to do anything about that in the taxes in the meantime until you sell. Yep. So that is a room addition without a bump in your taxes. Sounds like a good, uh, good, good thing to me. <laughs> right. Again, you're going to get more air conditioning control, more acoustic control. You're going to get probably a much more beautiful home. Mm -hmm. You're going to love it more. If you have that specialty room that you wanted, that storage area that you wanted or needed, or that workshop, or that office, or that next suite, you're just going to have a more beautiful home. You're going to have more space, and you know you're going to have all these advantages that you just don't get out of most room additions of the lower cost. Now we don't, we're not against room additions. Everybody knows who listens. To, that's my favorite project to do, but this is a room addition, and so I love it too. Oh, yeah. Well, if you've laid any type of remodeling, we're the company to do. KM Builders has been in existence since continuously, since 1984, and we can help you. I go and meet you. I'll spend an hour to an hour and a half with you to make sure we cover all the bases, and I really get to know what your needs are. Call us at 210-680-5626, 680-KMCO, or look us up at kmbuilders.com. We're also at Facebook and Instagram, so we'd love to talk to you there or sign up for our newsletter at Friends at KM Builders. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye. Great job.